Welcome back to Tamaron's Tactics. This is Dominions 4 Gameplay Tutorial Part 13. So we've taken Manes and we're, uh, we're prepared to build a temple and uh, search and patrol in this province. Uh, we do have a Dominion disadvantage here, but hopefully Tabira Kalamuk preaching and the combined presence of, of Nuk Tamaron and, and Tamira Kalamuk and that nearby temple uh, will make it so that we can uh, get our, our Dominion into a positive number this turn. The army of Fazdir is about 100 units, which is again mainly mannequins, but Manslay, his prophet who radiates power, is in Fazdir. So we definitely don't want to um, run up there right now. It is the mi it's it's cold, you know, it's three three frost right now is the uh, three cold is is the current temperature out there. So us lizard folk don't like that at all. It's late fall in year three, so I'm inclined to sit here in Manes, defend and preach. Once summer hits, then we can push forward and take this final throne and call this game a victory. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and just end the turn. Search for magic sites, but none was found, and there was a battle in Manes. Lots of slow arrow firing volleys there. Let's get this going. There we go. Anti-magic there. Their sermon of courage on their cavalry coming up to us. Cavalry really did a number on our light infantry. There's our astral healing, which gives all of our guys back a couple of hit points. Which is a titanic amount of healing if you consider how many guys in this battle on our side are probably, are probably wounded at that moment. This is a big fight. This could be the, a deciding battle in this game right here. Army's a little bit blobbed up because of all of the defenses, you know, the 49 guys defending with us or whatever. They all just kind of blob in the middle. Looks like our right flank is breaking through pretty nicely here. Those are the guys set to attack rear and attack large enemy monsters. So I'll bet you those giant guys are going to cut down and attack those cavalry. It's an exciting fight. <laughs> cast panic on that group right there. Looks like we're almost up to their archers with some of our infantry units. We've definitely broken their lines. Very good. Let's 
All of our planning really came to fruition nicely there. Our flank pushed the line and all, all the way back into the back so that we, we could, you know, get into this back area. We've got our our, uh, our infantry are now back on their archers. We I, I, that was a very good battle. We fought. <laughs> you got a couple of mannequins back on the I'm not sure how that happened. And the armies of Asphodel are routed. Excellent. There they go. They only had 40 guys left after that fight. We lost a quarter of our army, despite the fact that we were outnumbered uh, by quite a bit. So that was, that was a wonderful, wonderful battle. You can see here that my tactics work. The way that we've laid out the army and the way that we've programmed our spells, even though they had 70 more units than we did, uh, you know, we still ma made them flee and took out almost all of them. Great, great fight. So we'll have Faiz move those units up. And here in Apernia, let, let's just recruit uh, uh, as many units as we can here. We're going to go with some heavy infantry. There we go. That's a good good recruit at each turn. We'll, we'll grab a handful of light infantry and heavy infantry and then a couple of serpents. Okay. And then let's just try to defend Manes right here with whatever money we have left over. I'll bring that defense up just a hair more, up to 50, so we have the five unrest reduction per month. There's uh, just a little bit of unrest, but it'll go away shortly. Yeah, we'll have everybody patrol except for our, our Tibera Kalamuk, which we'll preach. An unexpected event. Trolls living under bridges have killed and eaten travelers. <laughs> so, dead unrest and a slight loss of gold. We've got three positive Dominion and Demace. I think we're really ready to kind of push forward over here to this this um, Throne of Ascension. So why don't we go ahead and just double check. I'm going to grab Ashara and I'm going to have him construct a lab here so that we can next turn do some scrying down here and see if there's anything waiting for me that I don't want to run into. Faiz is also going to move up his units from Batane to Apernia, and then he'll be able to put those reinforcements up here. We need to just have him jump units back and forth up to Manes so that we can reinforce for our final push once the heat comes around. A little bit of defense maintenance spending there, okay? So now all of our provinces have a fair amount of defense in them. You're watching Tameron's Tactics. My name is Nuck Tameron. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the continuation of this gameplay tutorial series.